Bonjour everyone, Pentef here today for a new video for the first of the 8.5 update and today I want to take a look at one of my favorite premiums since Wargaming buffed it aka the KV-5 that in my opinion became just a tank you need to have in your garage. It's cheap, it's coming back for Christmas like it's the case uh, pretty much every single year and today guys we're going to take a look at this glorious piece of Russian engineering that you really want to get. Wargaming decided to buff two things about the tank. The first is obviously its armor profile as they showed during the 8.5 preview you see that they touched the two cupolas making them finally able to bounce shots but on top of that they strengthened the whole gun mantlet but also the side armor there is on the turret cheeks and to be fair even if they didn't touch the two cupolas we have at the top this tank is still relevant again because finally people will not be able to penetrate you like you were a piece of butter but wargaming did not stop here because with the latest gun the one that penetrates quite a lot they they reduced the aim time and the reload time a little bit, sitting now at 10.0 seconds. And trust me, it's going to do a huge difference. Because now, not only do you get a tank that really is packing some serious DPM and a great penetration, no. You also have just the big Russian tank like it was intended. You are here to brawl shot and to push forward. And trust me, you can do it brainlessly with this thing. In order to really see the difference between the KV-5 of the 8.4 update and the KV-5 of the 8.5 one, let's take a look at two replays. The one you're seeing right there is the one where we played in the 8.4 update. It was recorded yesterday night and I decided, you know what, let's compare both tanks because this is how you can really feel a difference between them. So you see that we're top tier. Usually, even with the 8.4 KV-5, when you were top tier, you were able to do the job. You were able to get into position and as long as you tried to over angle by side scraping it would work perfectly now of course you still got to keep in mind that a lot of tanks especially tier 8 and tier 9 could penetrate you pretty much everywhere and when i say everywhere i really want to insist everywhere i wish i could show you the the camera um, through the use of the camera how you could get penetrated but here unfortunately it's a replay and it's recorded so i don't have access to it anymore more. But yeah, you see that against this guy, as long as we are over angling, and you're gonna see the side scrape method right now that is still working and available in the 8.5 update. As long as you over angle, people can't penetrate the side of the KV5. And the main thing you wanna do with the tank that is not gonna be changed with the 8.5 update is that you wanna make people think that because you are over angling your tracks, they can penetrate you. And here it's impossible. Just take a look at my position right now. Regardless of the tank you were playing with, if you were playing at this exact angle with a Tiger to a nice 3 or anything, if something shot at your side, they would penetrate. But it's not the case on the KV-5. Here I got penetrated because the guy shot at the cupola rather than the side armor but still you're gonna see it once again against the 45 tp habiha you see that he bounced on the side and i love the fact that wargaming not only touched the armor at the front but they also still remain the same when it comes to the side armor they did not touch anything because it was already great in its current state and i gotta be fair i salute that gesture from wargaming because now we are getting the russian tanks we were promised a long time ago a really big heavy tank that can brawl and ram without caring about what is sitting in front of it. And it's going to still be the case in the 8.5 update, but be aware that most of tier 9s are packing tier 10 guns and that they will penetrate you easily. But at least against tier 8 and tier 7, it's gonna make it way more comfortable to play. Nowadays, guys, when we take a look at the 8.5 update KV-5, you're gonna see that things are a little bit different without necessarily being different. And you're gonna understand that pretty soon. Do not worry, I know that sentence might seem a little bit weird. So there we go, we are playing our KV-5 and we are heading straight to the medium side because it seems like that's where my team wants to go. And I mean, even if you're extremely armored from the front, going alone on one side with the possibility of encountering the whole enemy team is not something that is suitable for any tanks, not even the Smasher in this game. So there we go, we are heading to the medium side 
side and unfortunately it's not our greatest move simply because from this side which is extremely open we kind of struggle finding our place on the battlefield so instead of pushing through because i'm not sure about what i'm gonna encounter and as there is a lover here i'm expecting all the other heavies to be on the other side i'm just waiting on my side right there patiently to see where they're coming from and here as the panzer the scorpion g the pre predator sorry the scorpion g and the lover are spotted i decide to go back to my spell Sorry about that. So I was saying I'm heading back to my spot and here I'm gonna encounter some juicy targets. As you know, the armor profile got increased, but not only did they increase this, they also made it nearly impossible for every single tier seven tank to penetrate me. And I want you to take a look at what the Black Prince is doing right now. He's trying to get a shot on this side right there and the cupolas and he saw that it's impossible to penetrate. So you might think, okay, if he can't penetrate, that's a very good news for us because it means that nobody will actually be able to penetrate. And oh boy, are you wrong? Because now the problem is the upper part, the cupolas from the upper part, because now everybody is shooting at those and as they did not get buffed, it's still easy to penetrate them. For the rest of the tank, you are gonna bounce, no problem most of the targets you're gonna encounter but as long and as soon as people see your cupolas uh, your upper part cupolas let's say that it's over because take a look at this predator and he's doing the exact same thing i'm forced to push forward and backward in close combat like that to make him either miss me or bounce and uh, even if it worked here in this scenario most of the time you're gonna encounter people that are still accurate with their tank and that will probably mm, penetrate your cupola easily so in the end, let's say that this new buff the KB5 received was definitely needed. But is it all enough when you see that people can still penetrate your cupola as the two at the tops that were not uh, that were not uh, buffed at all? I don't know. You tell me, guys. Personally, I think that it's still worth it because thanks to its DPM buff also... Uh, I think that the tank is now relevant again uh, and not relevant again to make it broken just a perfectly good and balanced tank with which you can have some fun from time to time on top of that I want you to keep in mind that this tank is hilarious to play in the pricing when you have the possibility of ramming everybody so even if you don't like it in regular battles you will love it in fun modes so hopefully you enjoyed that little review guys if that's the case feel free to subscribe like and share and personally I'm gonna see you soon for a new one